Hello there everyone and welcome back. You know, a few months ago I posted a video as part of my Google Classroom series where I talked about how you can create your own custom banners for the Google Classroom header. Well, this week I had a couple of people ask the same question and so I thought I would pop in to uh, do a quick video here to answer that question. So the question is, do you ever make banners with photos? And if so, how? That's what we're tackling today. All right, so we're gonna start off in Google Slides and I've already gone ahead and formatted the sizing. Um, if you're not quite sure what the sizing is, uh, in pixels it's 1000 by 250 pixels. And for those of you that need instructions on how to change the sizing of your Google Slides, um, you can reference my very first video where I talked all about the step-by-step the -step process of creating your own Google Classroom banners. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and add a background to this Google slide and we're going to do a Google image search and so that will allow us to search right directly from Google slides and we're going to search here for room background we're going to take a look at some of the options choose one and then insert now that we have a nice background for our room a floor and a wall um, it's still a very empty room and so we're going to start furnishing it and so we're going to do that by inserting some PNG images um, and those are images that do not have a background to them. It is a transparent background. Once again, we'll do a Google search right within our slides and we're going to first search for a desk. So I'll type in desk PNG and take a look at what some of those options are. We'll choose the best option, what we think can work, and then we will insert it. We can resize, reposition, and even flip it to be able to suit the, um, the style that we're going for. Now one very important thing to keep in mind when you are designing a banner for Google Classroom is that the, the title and class information is always going to be located on the left hand side of the banner. That's something that Google Classroom does. It's going to be there. And so you want to design things so that your important elements aren't going to be covered by that. So that's why whenever I'm designing mine, I always take uh, the bulk of the, the design and make sure that it is on the, the right hand side of the banner so that it's not covered by any of the words or titles or anything. All right, so we are continuing to add various items to this room and of course I'm just going to put in some very basic items here because this is just a demonstration. When it comes to your own design obviously you are going to personalize it the way that you would like to and so I mean you can look up so many different types of things to to place around the room. You could um, have a computer, you could have you know a water bottle, flowers on the desk, um, you could put in a, um, a chalkboard or a whiteboard or even posters on the wall and and things like that. So um, let your imagination and your creativity run wild with this. Um, there are lots and lots of um, images that you can use that have transparent backgrounds for you to decorate your banner. Here I'm adding a chalkboard to the wall to make it look a little bit more like your typical classroom um, and I could leave that as just sort of a background feature or I could even write a message on it if I wanted to. There's lots of options for that. Now creating this personalized classroom looking type of banner would not be complete um, for those of us who enjoy using Bitmojis. And so I wanted to take a few moments to share with you how we can also personalize this banner by adding our Bitmoji. I've added the Bitmoji Chrome extension so that I can access the, the program directly from my toolbar in Google Chrome. From there, I can search for the type of pose that I'm looking for 
and then click and drag to copy it onto my Google slide. And then just like the other elements, I can resize, reposition as needed. The other question I had this week had to do with um, having a GIF or animation as the, the Google Classroom banner. Now that is possible and it is also possible to create it using Google Slides if you would like. Um, I think that there are better ways to do it um, and I will show you another way using Canva. Um, but there are a couple of options here using Google Slides. The first thing that we would need to do is we would need to create sort of our, our different scenes of that animation. And that's what I'm starting to do here. So I have duplicated the slide and now on the first slide, I'm going to um, get a different pose for my Bitmoji. So what I'm gonna have is her walking across the screen and then sitting down in the chair. If you're not quite sure how to duplicate a slide, um, all you need to do actually is make sure that you have clicked on the slide that you would like to duplicate and then on a Mac, press Command D or on a PC, I believe it's Control D. In order to create this animation, we need to have a number of different slides that we have created and in each of the new slides that Bitmoji is slowly making her way across the screen towards the chair. And so each subsequent slide, we're going to move her just a little bit forward. And depending on you know how many slides you want to, uh, to duplicate and make, um, you can do um, a few of them. And so the, the, when she's actually animated, it will look a little more choppy. Um, but the more that you do and the, the slower that you move her across the screen, the more smooth the animation will become. Once all your slides are created and you have that movement going on, um, then you can, one way to create this, uh, this animation would be uh, to record your screen. So you would put um, your screen in present mode and then record your screen while you are advancing the slides and therefore creating the animation. So that's one way that you can do it. Um, the other way that you can do it is there's actually an add-on that you can get for Google Slides and it is called Creator Studio. So if you already have it as an add-on, then that's fantastic, but you can add it um, in by clicking on that add-on section and adding um, a new one to uh, your Google Slides. Once it's been added, you can go to add-ons and then select Creator Studio, open it, and you can create your GIF from there by following the on-screen instructions. My preferred method of creating animated Google Classroom banners is actually by using the free online program Canva. Just like in slides, you would uh, tell the program the dimensions that you want to use. Um, and there are then a lot of options for designing uh, different colors that you can use as your background. You can um, insert images. They even have um, animated stickers that you could use. Or if you have some pre-made GIFs that you would like to incorporate, um, then you can do that as well. And once you have your uh, banner designed the way that you like it, um, all you need to do is go to download and then choose the GIF option. This is an example of one of the banners that I've designed for my Google Classroom. Uh, no, no, I try to keep it very simple, but notice over in the corner on the computer screen is a, a little animated uh, portion just to sort of catch the eye. And here it is in Google Classroom. And all you need to get it there is to click on Upload Photo and choose the GIF file that you have created and it will take you through the process of getting that uploaded and part of your banner. Well, thanks for sticking around to the end, everyone. As usual, if you have found value in today's video, please be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell so that you will be notified each time that I upload new content. Also, if you are interested in taking a look at some of my own custom banners, um, if you'd like to use them for yourself, download them, use them as a template, you totally can. I'm going to provide a link for that free resource 
down in the description box. Until next time, everyone, we'll see you.